right, Algebra 1, Lesson 76. This one is on consecutive integers. Now, integers are numbers that are on a number line. For example, whoops. <laughs> okay, and if we're talking about um, consecutive, consecutive integers means um, the numbers that come right after each other. So a consecutive run would be 1, 2, 3. Another consecutive run would be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 going this way. Or negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. Okay? Those are consecutive. The number comes right after the next number. 0, 1 would be the next consecutive numbers. Now, um, here's what they're going to give us an equation that sounds like this. All right? And I want you to keyword is consecutive. Find three consecutive integers such that the sum of the first integer and the third integer is 146. Now, let me designate um, the integers. Integers, And what I mean by this is the first integer, okay, the second integer, and the third integer. Now, um, they have to be consecutive. So, um, let's just pretend, let's say I did 3, 4, and 5. Okay, so stay with me. If n was my 3, then what would 4 be? 3 plus 1, so n plus 1 gives me 4. Because if n is 3, then n, 3, plus 1 would be 4, right? Now let's look at our third consecutive integer. 1, first, second, third. Then what does my third one have to be? The number plus 1, 2 n plus 2. So, this is my first integer that we don't know what it is, and I just came up with 3. This is my second integer, and this is my third integer. Okay, and I can put any number. Let's say I chose 8. 8 as an n, then my second integer would be 8 plus 1, which would be 9, and my third integer would be 8 plus 2, which would be 10. So I'm doing good because I'm keeping them consecutive. So my first, second, and third. Now, this is our first, second, and third integer. Now listen to the problem. Find three consecutive integers such that the sum of the first and third integer is 146. The first, and they want me to find the sum of the first and the third, so, my first integer and my third integer, and they want us to find the sum of those two, is 146. So, now listen to the problem, or listen to how it says. Find three consecutive integers such that the sum of the first and third, the sum of it, is 146. So, now we've come up with a problem to try to figure out what n is. So, now let's do it. Um, I always like to put ones with my number, or my letters. So 1n plus another 1n makes 2n. It's kind of like 1 dog plus 1 dog equals 2 dogs. Okay, remember that rule, how we work with that? Now I just bring everything else down. Now I'm trying to get this plus 2 out of the way, so I'm going to make it minus 2. So now I'll get 2n equals 146 minus 2 would be 144. And so 2 times what equals 144? 2 times 74, I think. 2 times, what does it say? 72 is going to be my answer. So, um, n equals 72. n equals 72. So, what would be my consecutive numbers? 72, 73, and then 74. But then I got a phone call. Okay, so... My n was 72, so then 72, 72 plus 1 would be 73, and 72 plus 2 would be 74. So the answer to this problem would be find three consecutive integers, 72, 73, 74. That's how that would work, okay? Let's do another one, okay? Let's look at this next one, okay? Now again, I need to delete that up there, but I can write that up there again, okay? Let's look at the next problem. Find three consecutive integers such that twice... The sum of the first two is two less than three times the third. Okay, let me 
Let's go ahead and draw them up here again. One, first, second, and third. The first one will always be n, the second will always be n plus one, and the third will be n plus two, okay? Now, listen to what it says. Find three consecutive integers such that twice the sum of the first two. Twice that. Here's the first two. Twice the sum of that. n plus n plus one. That's the sum. Twice the sum of the first two. Twice the sum plus of the first two. n plus n plus one. Okay, so here it goes again. Twice the sum of the first two is, is two less than three times the third. Now, I've taught you in the past, when you hear two less than, that goes at the end. So two less than is minus two, okay? Two less than what? Three times the third. Well, that's the third answer. Three times that. Three times the third. You get it? So listen to this again. Um, twice the sum of the first two, twice the sum of the first two, is two less than, minus two, less than three times the third one. Three times the third integer, okay? So it's three times this. Now, so what I'm going to do is let's go on and work this problem, okay? This two on the outside means I have to multiply it by this. Multiply it by this, multiply it by this. So 2 times n is 2n, plus 2 times n is 2n, plus 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, finish working that one. Now let's do this one. 3 times n, 3n, plus 3 times 2, 6, and then I just put minus 2 down here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our like terms. 2n plus 2n makes 4n. So I did those two, and then I'm just going to break down my plus two. Then let's go equals, and then I've got three in. Let's go ahead and add these two, six minus two, which would be four. I'm actually subtracting. Six minus two would be four. Now, kind of got it down to this place. All right, now I'm going to put the ends on one side and the numbers on the other. So I'm going to put this three in and bring it over here. So it would be four in, bringing this down, plus, and this positive 3 in will become a negative 3 in. Equals, now let's take this 2 and bring it across over here. And since it's a positive 2, it's going to be a negative 2. And then I just bring the plus 4 down. Okay, so all I did is move the n over here, the 3 in over here, and the 2 over there. So now 4 in plus negative 3 in, which means 4 dogs plus negative 3 dogs, gives me 1 dog. Okay, 1 in. Equals, and then negative 2 plus 4 would be 2. Okay? because they subtract and then I take the sign of the largest number. Okay, so n equals two. So, if n is two, then my second integer is two plus one, which would be three, and my third integer would be two plus two, which would be four. So this answer is two, three, four. That is the answer. Those are the three consecutive integers that get this answer. All right, let's do one more and we're done. Um, don't shut it off, because this gets even harder. So, stay with me. Here's what it says. Again, I'm going to put my... This time they're wanting us to do four consecutive integers. So, my first integer, my second, my third, and my fourth. Okay. My first one's in. My second one's in plus one. My third one's in plus two. And my fourth one's in plus three. Okay? It's just going up one every time because it's consecutive. Now, listen to the problem. Find four consecutive integers such that six times the sum of the first and fourth. First and fourth. Well, they're wanting us to do the sum of that. So n plus n plus three. First and fourth. And they're wanting me to do six times that. So listen to it again. Six times the sum of the first. Where is that? The sum of the first and fourth. Fourth integer, first integer. First and fourth. And they're wanting me to do six times that. Okay? So six times that. Um, the first and fourth is, is 26 less than, as you know, that means minus 26 at the end of the um, problem, is 26 less than what? 10 times the third integer. 
So it's 26 less than minus 26 from what? 10 times the third. Here's the third. 10 times that. N plus 2. Okay, so now listen to it again. 6 times the sum of the first and fourth is 26 less than 10 times the third. Okay, now let's work the problem. Again, we have to do this kind of thing. So 6 times n is 6n plus 6 times n is 6n plus 6 times 3 is 18 equals. Now let's do this one. 10 times n is 10n plus 10 times 2 is 20 minus, I'm going to just bring down this minus 26. Okay, I'm just going to make everything plus negative just because I like working with that. Now, let's combine our like terms on each side. So 6n and 6n make 12n. And then I'm just going to bring down plus 18. Equals, and then over here I've got numbers that are like. So 20 plus negative 26 will give me a negative 6. And I'm just going to bring my 10n down. Okay, now I'm going to put all my n's together. So 12n plus this positive 10n, I'm going to bring across, it's going to become a negative 10n, equals this positive 18, I'm going to bring over here, becomes negative 18, plus negative 6. Okay? Staying with me? All right? And so then, I'm looking at this. Okay, so then 12n plus negative 10n gives me a 2n, equals, and then negative 18 plus negative 6 is negative 24. Now, this says 2 times what equals negative 24? And so my n would be a negative 12. Okay? Now, pay attention to what happens here. I'm going to go back up here to this problem. If my n is a negative 12, then what is my second one? Well, you might think negative 13, negative 14, negative 15, but pay attention. Negative 12 plus 1, my negative 12 is my n, negative 12 plus 1 is actually negative 11. And then my negative 12 plus 2 would actually be, when you subtracted that, would be 10 and take the sign of the biggest one, negative 10. So as you can see, it's negative 12, negative 11, negative 10, negative 9. So the answer to this is negative 12, negative 11, negative 10, negative 9. Those are the four consecutive integers that are the answer to that problem. That is lesson 76.